Alrighty. So let me let me start off this this thing by letting you guys know what the deal is and what what's going on. All right. So a couple weeks back, last week, whatever it was, I started messing with my car. I had nothing better to do, and I I did things like I changed the fuel filter, I changed the oil, that kind of stuff, and I still found that like I had a lot of time. So I decided, well, you know what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna clean the throttle body. So I took the throttle body off, I cleaned it all up, and then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna polish this thing. You know, I had it all apart and everything. Figured I'd polish that baby up, and uh, so I did. Long story short, I had it so apart that uh, when I put it back together, I started getting an error code. I got a I went to start it up, I got the dreaded wrench light. Now the wrench light is basically a the wrong, uh, and it's in limp mode, right? What I did was when I had it all apart, I, I actually had uh, actually had the motor off this uh, motor bracket. Now this is a, a, an electric drive throttle. So basically it takes the input from the throttle body or from the computer when it's running its test. This bolts onto the throttle body and this rotates um, frontwards or backwards, opening and closing the butterflies in that throttle body. It looks at the other side of that throttle body, there's a throttle position sensor, right? And you may be wondering why I got a couple of these here. So yeah, it looks like that's together. I'll get to that. So when I had to, when I had the original one apart, I actually had this motor pulled off this bracket, and inside here are the brushes and everything for that motor. So I, like, it's the the motor windings are out of the magnetic field. To make a long story short, when I put it back together, and that. Uh, that was my original thought. You know what? I probably didn't get those uh, the motor back together correctly. So that's the part that's broken. Let me go get one of these. So I went and bought one of these, and I replaced it. Didn't work. Didn't fix my issue. So my next thing was, well, I know that these S197 Mustangs had. Uh, an issue early on with throttle position sensors. And as I'm looking, I'm trying to do some research online, this looks like the old throttle position sensor. Now I can't confirm that it is, I, I just don't know. Um, so I thought, well, I had it off and had it apart. You know what, let me replace that thing. So I waited on Amazon to deliver one of these. And uh, when I slept it together, I went to try it and I didn't fix it. So, that's where I'm at right now. The thing's not fixed. But I have a, uh, I have a good plan on what I'm gonna do. And um, I guess I'll go from there and, and I'll, I'll move the camera and show you guys what I, what I got going on here. I'm gonna show you what it's doing and then, uh, and Hopefully, I'm going to show you how to fix it. <laughs> Hopefully, because I didn't fix it yet. This isn't one of those videos where I fixed it and I have to break it again to kind of make a video. Uh-uh. This thing's still broken. So, I'm hoping that I fixed it. I'm crossing my fingers. I'm hoping that I have, that I'm on the right track to fixing these. I know uh, people don't even like messing with these throttle bodies because they're so sensitive and so, so picky. Well, I found that out after I was you know, digging. I just thought I was pulling it off and, you know, polishing it up to clean it up. So whatever, I'll get it. I ain't worried about it. So I don't know, cut. All right, let me go, let me move the camera and show you guys what's going on here. All right, let me, let me start this out by apologizing and saying, look, it's hot in here. I got a fan running, so the sound's going to be crappy. And right now I'm just going to hold this and show you kind of what's going on here. Throttle body's here. 
right? That stepper motor is here. There's a gear set inside here. This is a two prong plug that basically rotates it forwards or backwards depending on what the computer tells it to do. This side, throttle position sensor, that's the piece that I thought was broken and it, it may still be, I don't even know. Um, that's the replacement part. That's the old part. I'm, I'm gonna throw the old one back on here, I think. Um, they, this one's a Ford part, that one, the, the new one isn't a Ford part for the stepper motor. So I'm gonna kinda, I'm gonna put the two old parts back together that I know worked um, correctly and then I'm gonna go from there. So, um, I basically got this got this loose already. So, take the tube off and I'm gonna pull it, pull it apart here. All right, move that thing out of the way. All right. So these two plates, one of the things that I read was that these two plates may not be aligned exactly right. So I'm gonna loosen these babies up. I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure that they are exactly centered. Now it should have a little bit of gap around the edge here, like it does. Um, they look pretty good, but that was the first thing I wanted to try is to to make sure that these are dead center and in in the bore and I'm gonna try that out on the battery here I took both connectors off and I tied the two together with this jumper wire and that's supposed to clear the uh, basically clearing the cache on the computer so everything that it's learned before it should start right from a factory fresh uh, learning procedure right off the bat all right so right now I'm going to um, put the key in the ignition I'm going to turn it to the on position and I'm not going to start it and what should happen is these butterflies should do a test watch what happens when I go in there and step on the gas pedal Okay, so one of the things that I read about this is that these throttle plates, since I had them out, they may not be sitting quite right in the bore. So what they suggested to do is undo this motor so it can't open and close on you because you can cut your fingers right off. And right now it can't open and close on me, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take these I'm going to break them loose, just, just enough to be able to move it. I'm going to do it on both sides. Because it looked like, it looked like when it was going through its motions that it almost had a, a hang up somewhere. Now, I don't feel any kind of hang up, any kind of marring or anything inside there. So what that thing suggested to do is just bust them loose, push it back in the bore so, it's, so you know that they are centered and just kind of, just kind of get them just a little bit hand tight, right? Now that you know that they're, they're centered. So right now I'm gonna hook this motor back up. I'm gonna run through that procedure again, turning the key, and I'm gonna see what happens on these, on these uh, butterflies. So we plug this, plug this up. Close the red thing. Now I'm gonna turn the key. Okay, and I, I didn't see it, I wasn't quick enough. All right, and the wrench light is gone. I'm gonna pull this back out. All right, and I'm gonna just, right where they're at, I'm gonna just throw a little bit of oomph in it. 
the other thing that I can check while I'm here is the throttle position sensor voltage. If the throttle position sensor is kind of out of alignment and it doesn't align over here, it aligns over here, but if it's out of alignment, it's gonna fail that test, that original test once it does it. So what I should have done and I didn't do is take and check the uh, throttle position sensor voltage beforehand so I knew kind of what range I was looking at. Now from looking online, I kind of want to be in like a 1.2 range when it's fully closed. I need to basically tap into where this yellow wire is on the throttle position sensor. It should be the bottom one on this. So right now I'm at 1.18 and that's basically within range. Um, let's rotate this, right? And see how that changes? But what I found while digging online is the instruction sheet for putting a BBK throttle body on and how to adjust it. Now the stock, um, the stock throttle body doesn't have the same adjustment. It's got a plastic thing that if you try to adjust it, it it's probably gonna break. But the part I'm doing here is checking the TPS voltage. Now, these steps, uh, leave throttle body motor unplugged, blah, 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 to find the yellow wire. I mean, we can, I can kind of re-show you this, but find the yellow wire, you gotta break into it from the backside. That's exactly what I did. Between 1.19 and 1.31 volts. If, if my thing's not working because I'm one one hundredth of a volt out, uh, honestly, I'm gonna be kind of pissed. I wanna say, looking at the way that, that that butterfly was moving when I stepped on the gas, it was kinda, it kinda had one of those, like, like it, it didn't flow smooth. I have to put it back together to start it. You don't want to start it without that tube on here because of the mass airflow sensor. It's going to throw the phasers out and it's really going to, you could, you could, you could true stuff up. It's idle and nice and smooth, but it should have my idles uh, all relearned at this point from all the way cold to all the way hot should be relearned. I'm going to dry this, nothing crazy. And we'll see where we stand here. Alright, so I'm getting pretty happy. I'm I got 15 miles or so on it. No problem. Shifting very smooth. It's gotta learn what I'm doing. And are those couple of times getting on it? It's trying to shift a little harder. It'll get what I want as I keep driving. It'll just keep building that memory and building whatever that spreadsheet worth of data is. And then eventually just it'll just be the way I, I drive. I'm, I'm thinking I'm good, man. I'm thinking I'm good. I'm happy again. Yeah, got my car back. Got it back. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we're done. It is time to take a to take a break. I'm happy. I'm happy it's gonna. I'm happy it's working. So, time to have a cold one. I'm gonna turn that fan back on and uh, throw on some tunes. Here you go, man. Nice to get that thing back working.